A 40-year-old woman comes due to trouble breathing and difficulty with balance. Vital signs show a pulse of 110, but otherwise normal. Gait is wide and has decreased sensation to her feet. Labs sh show hematocrit of 20, MCV of 110. Which of the following below would help identify the diagnosis? A. Enlargement of the ventricles. B. A1C of 10%. C. Anti-intrinsic factor antibodies. D. Destruction of the anterior and lateral horns of the spinal cord. So I'll let you answer the question and then I'll explain. So this is going to be C. Anti-intrinsic factor antibodies. So for this one, we're going to have a patient with pernicious anemia. So this is where we have reduction of vitamin B12. So just talking a little bit about the background of that, it's necessary for synthesis of DNA, vitamin B12. And without vitamin B12, you would develop macrocytic anemia, which is where you have an MCV over 100. And that's what we have here with 110. And if it goes on for long enough, the dorsal and lateral spinal columns can cause the diminished sense of touch that's also seen in this patient. Pernicious anemia can destroy the parietal cells in the stomach, which release intrinsic factor. Now, intrinsic factor binds to vitamin 12, and that binds to receptors in the ileum to help absorb the entire complex and help you process vitamin B12. Now, for the other ones, we have destruction of anterior and lateral horns. So this is actually due to ALS, which is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And that would have progressive muscle weakness in both the upper and lower limbs. The other one is enlargement of the ventricles. That can be associated with normal pressure hydrocephalus, which has a triad of dementia, ataxia, and urinary incontinence. The final one is going to be diabetes, which can decrease the sensation to the feet. So it's kind of tricky because if you just looked at that, you would think it's diabetes. But in reality, it's not because diabetes doesn't cause anemia. So to answer this question, realizing that this patient has an anemia, and that's why they give you hematocrit instead of hemoglobin, because you have to do one more step and realize that you have to divide hematocrit by three to get hemoglobin and realize that that's below normal and so it's going to be anemic. And then seeing that the MCV is over 100, so it's going to be macrocytic. And so with those two, the most common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency is going to be pernicious anemia. And the phys pathophysiology of that is going to be the anti-intrinsic factor antibodies. And then the final thing is when you have a long period of def vitamin B12 deficiency, that's when you're going to get neurologic disorders such as the gait and decreased sensation. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.